Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with Novlomo for uh, Friday, and this is take number three. I'm going to start tracking them because I always am curious how many takes I do of these. Um, today we're going to go over my number four on my top ten, but first I'm going to show you a couple of fun things that came in today. Um, so the first thing was um, a prototype copy of Tiny Epic Galaxies, yes, in space. Um, so this is another Tiny Epic game. So they had Tiny Epic Kingdoms, then Tiny Epic Defenders, and now we're in space with kind of a weird little uh, dice game. So you get these dice, depending on how many planets you have, and you roll them. And during your turn, you activate the dice as you go. And during once you're, during your turn, you can re-roll any dice you haven't used. Or, you know, keep some and roll others and whatever you want, as long as you haven't used them yet. And what you're trying to do, and I'll show you a couple of the planets, is you want to either land on a planet and take a, like, a quick one-time thing, or colonize a planet and kind of get victory points and a permanent bonus. Um, interesting, neat little thing. I would imagine that the full version is going to have some really cool art because the back has really cool art already. So they commissioned the logo, and I would imagine that these might change. And if not, I'm going to make one of those videos from the internet about how silly some of these look. Because they are silly. They look like marbles. So far. Um, we did not get to play this yet, but I did read all the rules. And I only once had to then reread all the rules because I got confused that the dice weren't ships, because apparently everything is Alien Frontiers to me. So, <laughs> no, once, once you realize that the ship pieces are ships, and the dice are dice, things make a lot more sense. And then, the other thing I got to do is print out, and I know it looks really bad, it's in like sleeves behind magic cards, um, print and play of Oddball Aeronauts 2, Double the Trouble. So this adds in the Free Kingdoms and the Mechanauts. Um, it's two full new factions with new tricks, new abilities, and multiplayer play. So that's really exciting to me. Brian and I took the two decks out for a spin. The Mechanauts are definitely harder to play. So the first game, we were still kind of learning the, the rules, and I lost by five. And then we switched decks, and I won by three. So Brian picked it up faster than I did. Who knows? But generally speaking, I'd say Oddball is rather balanced, so it was interesting to see. Uh, we used the same Mercenary as came with the first set, and I... I saw the Kickstarter video, and I can't wait for the new mercenaries because they're going to put in where you don't necessarily just get one mercenary. You might get some like lesser powered lots of them, or you can just use that one, and it'll be point-based, so you get six points worth of mercenary, which is kind of cool. Um, so we, we played it, and there are some new mechanics. You get to like use lead card bonuses, which is like top card, promote and demo, which like moves cards up and down from top card elsewhere. Um, there are support cards, which means that they um, affect you if they're in the back and your top card has an asterisk on it. And there are, there was one other, uh, counter cards. Counter cards are really neat. Um, it's kind of like defense in the first one. So if I were to counter an ability you're using, um, it usually specifies which one I need to be using. Um, if you were to win, I add the counter number, and if then I'm winning, we both take a win effect, which is kind of neat. Um really excited about that. Cannot wait to get some plays of this and get you guys a full report. So that is a video coming up. Tiny Epic Galaxies is a video coming up. And I may do another video about Foretold because as of today when Jay Simarad said, hey, did you ever post any of the videos you did with Foretold? I realized I never posted any of my videos for Foretold. So that's on my list of things to do as well. I don't know if you guys have seen Foretold. It's out in stores now. It's Legion Supplies. It's really cool. It recreates a CCG multiplayer experience. You should definitely play it. Um, I'll get back to that. But what I'm here to do is announce my number four from my top ten. And my number four is Innovation. Innovation is a two to four player card game from Carl Chudik by Asmati Games. Um, I have played Innovation at least, if you count teaching games where I'm teaching people for the first time, I've played this game probably 30 to 40 times. If you count games I played for myself, probably 15. 
uh, I did have a job where I taught people to play games for a living. So it, it affects how many times they think I've played a game. But I've played a lot of innovation, and it is good and bad in that your first game kind of sucks because you're playing a card game where card knowledge is almost imperative where you don't know the cards. So for your first five games or so, this game gets exponentially better. I, I do mean that. My fourth to fifth play is still exponentially better because as I learn what possibilities, what cards can come up, what cards I want, what cards I've seen, what combos I can do, what colors I want to be in, all things get better. Um, so innovation the base game is rich and wonderful and vibrant and lovely. And then they started pumping out expansions. And if you just played the first expansion, which was Figures in the Sand, I think. Yes. Oh, no. Figures in the Sand was the third one. Echoes of the Past was the second one. If you just played that by the rules that were written, um, it didn't add anything. It So regular innovation is a brown back card. The second one is a blue back card. The original rules tells you to shuffle them together, a small amount of these with a large amount of these, and then draw as normal. So you spent the entire game trying to draw expansion cards because they were in inherently more powerful than the base cards. And it made for a kind of boring, weird card draw game. Which innovation can be at some times a weird card draw game, but you probably won't win. Because if you're doing that consistently, I'm just going to use a different strategy and stop you. When the third one came out, and I think it was slightly before that, a variant came out where you put the base game together, and you put it on the table as normal, and you put the expansion cards above that. So then, during the game, if I were to draw a card, and I drew a number two card, if I already had a number two from the base game, I would then be able to draw an expansion card. And it fixed everything. It made it more elegant, it made it more fun, it made it more balanced, and everything became good again. I still find myself not really caring to play the expansions because the base game is so good. But I personally, and I don't know how many of you know this, I don't play expansions. I just don't. I like games to be good on their own and then I never get bored of them. Because I don't get bored of things. I've seen Jurassic Park like 50 times. So, innovation, amazing game. A pain to learn, a pain to convince people to play a second time if they don't see the spark in it the first time. But generally speaking, once you've played it a second or third time, you'll really get it. Poor Brian, though. My partner Brian has not enjoyed his time with innovation. And he plays it about once every six to eight months. And so he forgets all cards in between that time. Um, we are pretty well convinced that if he played it a few times in a row, he might like it better. But then it's... It's about getting through that rough couple games to get to the really good ones. And so sometimes that's really hard. Um, so I will be going back to work in a, in a few hours here. And hopefully that's the last work I do for about a week. So um, other than just regular social media and everything, I will be taking the week off for Board Game Geek Con and hopefully having fun and playing games. Um, that was all. And this is only eight and a half minutes, so I'm doing really good. Uh, it was nice to speak with you all. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in an upcoming vlog. I have plenty more to go. And I'll see you guys later.